Thanks, guys. I'm here with the dragon from Dragon's Den, Michael Weckerly. Thank you, Sarah. Michael Weckerly stopped by the studio to chat with Spoke TV about the tech industry in Waterloo and upcoming auditions for Dragon's Den. So Dragon's Den has auditions coming up in Waterloo in March 9th. That's right. Just so, have them in Guelph. Um, what are you expecting from uh, these pitches? I'm really excited. You know, this year we're on a little secret out here that we're going to be looking at potentially integrating the crowd into investing, co-investing with the Dragons. We're looking at different ways to do it, so it's still very infancy stage, but a big part of it, I'm really looking at, and last year we saw a whole bunch of Canadians from e either side of the East Coast or the West Coast that had, whether it be a small innovation or a large innovation, but some great ideas that, and seeing the past history, you know, it was really quite interesting to see the, the progression of some of the years when I wasn't a Dragon. Uh, I believe it's a great venue for, and it's really about entrepreneurs, it's really about the chance to get access to capital, but not just capital, but exposure. So the Dragon's Den, I think, is going to be this year really focused on visibility, is going to be focused on, you know, audience participation in various forums. And I think that's going to be a real telltale sign to where Canada's going because we have the technology and it's progressing forward. There's a lot of great talent. I'm here at Conestoga College, and I spent uh, about two months ago walking through and giving a speech here and I'll tell you the professors here are spectacular and it's a really strong community which is hence I bought a place in uh, Kitchener and I have a place in a little cottage lake so I'm very well entrenched here so you can't get rid of me that quick now. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Now with the abundance of students in the Waterloo area are you expecting more and more students to audition? Oh yes for you know I, I think it's gonna be great and I think we've seen a lot of it come through but you know there's so much dedication here by the professors to create cooperative programs. The companies coming in here are located in that quarter because they want to employ the students that are excelling and give them a chance to take their skills to a practical level. And you know, they just announced, you know, not too long ago, a hundred million dollar facility to add two thousand more students that graduating from engineering. And you know, there's thirty thousand engineering students from the province of Ontario versus 26,000 in the whole state of California. That's a huge triumph, man. We should be proud. <laughs> um, is there anything else you want to add at all? Yeah. Well, I think that, you know, one thing about Waterloo is that, you know, I talk to people in Toronto, and I grew up 52 years in Toronto, and now I'm transplanting myself in Waterloo. You know, I drove this morning, and it's about an hour drive in the early morning, maybe an hour and a half in, in traffic. But there's numerous people that go from Toronto to Muskoka and go to cottage country. Yet if I ask someone, when's the last time they came to Waterloo, they say, oh man, I can't remember. I think I had a friend of mine that went there and it's years ago. Yet it's such a dynamic community here. There's great arts, there's a great jazz festival. There's great capability here to really go there and see what the community is about. It's one of the unique communities in Canada and not too dissimilar than we see in Ottawa or Montreal or in other parts of the West or the East. It's about dedication, about a group of people that, you know, have come here for a specific rule of going to university, but about 30% stay here. It's really creating a great dynamic workforce, and I think Canada should be very proud of where this is going to take us because we can't rely on a cyclical economy our whole life. We have cycles to go, and whether oil price is $9 or $90, it's irrelevant to the rest of the world. But to Canada, it's very important today. We should not rely upon that because the intellectual capital here of a group of companies have been bought out by numerous companies and BlackBerry unfortunately is going you know, south of the border because it's a model that is more of a, of a software model than a hardware model and that's just competitiveness. You can't compete with some of the low cost and low, low cost employees in parts of the world. That being said, you can use that and collaborate rather than compete. And there's great collaboration because the intellectual capital is here. Auditions for Dragon's Den are happening in Waterloo this March. For details, visit cbc.ca. Thank you so much for being here today with us. Thank you, Sarah, and thank you, Spoke TV. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Back to you guys.